funniest thing just happened. I drove, I got an Instacart. It was $9. It said it was 0.8 miles. As soon as I left, the customer texted me and said their address was wrong and it doesn't show up in the GPS. <clears throat> so I park at the grocery store. I look up the address on Google, it doesn't show up. I look up the address on Waze and it shows up and it's like three and a half miles away. <laughs> and uh, no, nope, not because that would be six miles. Round trip, not doing it. All right, just started the day off pretty interesting. So, I think I already told the tale of the, the batch I had to cancel because it was too many miles. Oh, I was telling it while I was walking outside, so it's probably a terrible clue. Anyway, screenshots here. It was, uh, looked like an okay order, $9. So I drove up to the grocery store, which is where I'm passing right now, and uh, I parked my car, and the, the customer had texted me and said that, told me about the address, so that's how I knew to look it up. And when I saw where it was, I canceled the batch. So then I just, le I lived so close to the food line that I just left my car food line and walked home. Now, a little bit later, I get a batch that I'm willing to do, but it's a giant, which is a little bit further away. So, you know, me being me, my car is at food line, so I sprint out of my house, up to my car at food line, then I get in my car and I'm like, I don't have my phone. And then I'm like, oh no, I left my phone at home. So then I drive my car back to my house. I look at go in my house and I'm like, my phone's not here. So then I'm like, did I drop it while running? So then I start to walk to look and I don't see it. So then I go back and I'm like, maybe it's in my car. And I'm starting looking at my car. Anyway, I decided to walk the entire way back up to the store. There it is, laying in the grass. Got my phone. Now Instacart's telling me if I haven't started driving to the store, the batch will be canceled. Well, I'm trying Instacart. This it is all my fault. But crazy stuff's gonna happen to people, you know? I'm trying. I'm trying to get this $14. It'll probably be 12. Picked up this Uber Eats. It's a good deal. When I got to Three Brothers, I always had to wait at Three Brothers. Anyway, when I got to Three Brothers, the door was locked. Bad sign. Dude came out, opened it. I had to wait like five, ten minutes. This order is so close. Ten bucks. I had the other apps going. Like I'm just gonna be sitting at home waiting. If I'm not waiting at Three Brothers, nothing else came in. I'm gonna make this money. But it's going to this like senior citizen home. I always have problems here luckily it's no it might be the building because the intercom never works door never opens they get upset because I can't bring it to them you know they're old they can't come down let's see how it goes Extremely easy. I'm about to drop this sucker off.
Hey, Hello. thank you very much. Perfect. Yeah. All right. All right. Sounds great. All right. Thank you. Yep.